Okay, we're starting. Welcome to the Tough Questions Podcast. I'm your host, Jeff Sheen, the queen of mean. And today, <laughs> we're with my co-host, Tim McLaughlin. Hey, everybody. I hope you're having a great day. Great job, Tim. Nice little intro, beautiful voice. And we're joined <laughs> in the middle with a laughing already, dressed in his Christmas spirit, the Christmas king himself, Tommy McNamara. Ho, ho, ho. Oh, <laughs> I like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> Look at this. Santa's oldest son is here. <laughs> Santa's pale son. Yeah. <laughs> Tommy has re- been recently moved up from the Patreon to the main feed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mr. Salty getting a double dose of Tommy. <laughs> yeah. He's the only one that sees the Patreon video. Yeah. So now we got two. Wait, what? One person sees it? <laughs> yeah, one person. Hey, you could be person number two if you yeah. sign up for the Patreon at patreon.com slash tough questions. Yeah, sign up. Because <laughs> for the video part, right? Yeah, for the video part and for the regular part. And if you sign up, you can ask your own tough question, which no one has done yet. <laughs> Yeah, nobody nobody asks their own questions they want to ask. No, not what yet. What about you can ask me and I'll answer one question. Oh yeah. my god, that's huge. Okay, you can ask Jeff and he'll answer one question on the show. Can I yeah. ask you a question? I'm not going to answer it, but you can ask it. Do you feel morally compromised going on Fox News? Not at all. <laughs> it felt good to be with my peers. Yeah. Sharing the couch. Piers Morgan. Yeah. Uh, Tim's back. Yeah, Tim's back. <laughs> I've done it. I was sharing the couch with Charles Payne. I, I got know. a selfie with him. <laughs> He's Char- Fox Business. Char- Charles Payne was big in the stonk Reddit. Yeah, yeah. Do you remember that GameStop stonk? Charles Payne was rooting for the GameStop people. I'm not a big stock guy. Oh, we love Charles Payne. And I got a little little photo with him. Very nice man. Mm. Fox News also, by the way, real shithole. Interesting. You know? yeah. I, I walked into the building and like, it looked like this. Like the walls had holes in them and chipped paint. Don't well, say it's a shithole, then say it looks like where I look work. Look like your shithole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. I did all this. Yeah, yeah. This shouldn't be on par with Fox News. They can't see what's behind the camera, Jeff. Right, yes, yes. They can't see all this. The, what is that, a vacuum? Anyways. We don't use it on this carpet, but we do sometimes use it. Oh, that's good. You should be vacuuming every once in a while. But the whole building, cracking, stinking, but the sets... Holy smokes, that's where the money goes. Mm. I'll tell you that. Nice couch. Took a sip of my glass of water. Didn't know if I was supposed to. What? Uh, they put down three glasses of water in front of all of us, and I was the first and only one to take sips. It shows uh, weakness. Is that show weakness? Yeah. Jeff, move your mic a little bit so it's like in front of your mouth and not to the side. Okay. See, that's where I wanted to be in the first place. All right, Tommy. Let's get into it. You know, you know you get some of these questions. You already prefaced that some are going to make you tighten up, so we'll have to dock you, but not yet. Now with this first one. Yeah, you got to get above a five. If you get above a five, you get to do your plug. Yeah, you may barely get across the finish line. Yeah. No one has gotten below a five yeah, yet. Yeah, but Tommy could be one. Uh, let's see. Somebody walking by? Probably Sam. First question, Tommy. I got to know. Tim's got to know. Mr. Salty's dying to know. He has to know. He's got to know. Uh, on average, um, how many drinks do you have a month? <laughs> <laughs> All right, officer. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Do not answer this truthfully because we will give you a bunch of pamphlets like when I went to the doctor. <laughs> the doctor handed me a bunch of pamphlets. So here's what I'll say. Yeah, yeah. First of all, I'm misunderstood. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I'll write that down. I know I'm a big party guy, but uh-huh. I only, you know, most nights of the week I don't drink at all. Oh, okay. I don't drink alone at all. But uh, when I do drink, I drink way too much. Only on days ending in Y? <laughs> Jeff, yes. don't do that. What are you, a, what are you, a sign you can buy at Bed Bath & Beyond? <laughs> but So my friend Will was helping me try and lose weight earlier this year before oh, okay. he uh, gave up. Oh, <laughs> no. Oh, Will. And uh, I remember at one point he was like, hey, do you think we could try and just cut it down to like, 30 drinks a week. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my Lord. That's not a good sign. <laughs> so 30 drinks a week times four is 120. <laughs> yeah, that we'd say about, that's a truthful number. I'd say yeah. about 120. Yeah. Say, it's like three. Ni- it's like three nights in a week I'll drink, but I'll have ten beers. That night. This is like Tim's that. math. Yeah. It's not. Well, it's because it's correct math. 
I have 50 drinks in a week. <laughs> and it's because I drink 20 to 25 drinks at, in two nights. So 120 per month. All right. Tim, what's that per year? Do some math. 120. For me. So that's 12 times 12. So what's that? 20, 144. Yeah. So that's uh, 1,444. Four. Which is also my salary. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's a weird coincidence. Yeah. All right. So that's pretty good. What do you think about that number? You like that? I don't. Uh, <laughs> I, uh, I think about quitting uh, once a week. So <laughs> check back in. Oh, oh. But then Thursday rolls around. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. You don't have to full on quit, Tommy. Let's just cut you back. How about this? Can you meet me here? Let's take out 1000 per year. <laughs> <laughs> Seems achievable. I think that's, yeah. I think that's totally I think that's achievable. Yeah. All right. Well, good. We'll see how we are. I'll I'll start counting from here on out. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, let's yeah. see. I remember when my I think I probably told this on the pod, but when my we were out to dinner and my cousins were little, even one of my cousins was sitting next to my dad and he mm-hmm. ordered a beer. He goes, "That's your fourth beer." And my dad goes, "Don't count." It's rude. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. Uh, let's see. All right, moving on. What about this one here? Can you give me uh, what, what are three reasons the Lions are better than the Bears? Oh, shit. <laughs> Damn, you should Fine. have. <laughs> Only because I need the points. <laughs> Damn, you should have also said something about the Bears. <laughs> This year, the yeah. Lions are better uh-huh. than the Bears. Uh, they have a better coach. Dan Campbell, I think, is a much better coach. Oh, we'll go coach. They have a better offensive coordinator. Ben Johnson is oh. much better than Luke Getze. Oh, very much so. Uh, and I will say that their skill position players are overall better. You got Montgomery, Gibbs, Laporta, wow. St. Brown. I think that's a better group, even though I like DJ Moore more than St. Brown. Oh, yeah, do you? Mm-hmm. Well, he didn't like it. He's not happy being there. All right. <laughs> oh, uh, no, it's fine. You had Montgomery. Okay. Uh, Coach OC skills, and we'll just put also overall. <laughs> <laughs> Overall, Would you say, what about town? Better town? Oh, that's not true. I'll give you town, but I will put, for us, character. You moved from Michigan to Chicago yeah, to have a better life. We have more character, though. Mm. Jeff had too much character. He had to get out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Chicago is like USA. Characters what? welcome. Ah, there you go. Oh, okay. Yeah, oh, got you there. Yeah. Is that USA? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Suck on that. And we and tough questions could have the tagline "We know drama." <laughs> that would be good. Yeah. It could be TNT. Yeah. Oh yeah. I mean that the 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 uh, Sean Donnelly Wilford stuff was a plus. Oh, that Sean. was <laughs> great. Gus. Yeah. I was freaking pissed at him. I don't know who that is. <laughs> Lois. <laughs> Wait, what's the word that Sean always says? That's always funny. Bad ass. Bad ass. <laughs> <laughs> I love Sean. Yeah, me too. That oh. was a great episode of the pod. He got so mad at that Jeff. It was a great. Yeah, I don't think he enjoyed it. <laughs> he had a terrible time. Oh, Nobody no. does. Anyways, Tommy, you will. You'll I'm be enjoying our... it so far. Yeah? All right, good. Uh, let's, let's change see. that up with this question. <laughs> yeah, next question then. When and how was your last sexual experience? <laughs> <laughs> and how? Yeah. What the fuck? How was it? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I thought you were like, meant like, how did it happen? Doggy. <laughs> I would say recent and good. Whoa. Wow. My recent man smashes. Recent and good. I'm him. Okay, <laughs> that's great. Nice. Yeah. All right. I would say I have had less sexual experiences than beers this year. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah wow. you're under a thousand. <laughs> I'm under a thousand. One thousand four hundred and thirty-nine <laughs> sexual experiences. <laughs> uh, all right, it was good for both parties or just Tommy. <laughs> I'll leave up to God. <laughs> <laughs> Tommy, right. I gets mine, McNamara. <laughs> yeah, Tommy only. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um all right what about let's go a little deeper here what's one thing you wish you could change about yourself 
Oh, I hate the way I look. Oh, <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> I, 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 I deal with a lot of self-loathing, mostly about my appearance. So that would be the main uh, main thing. Really? Yeah. You're like you're like an anti men's warehouse. <laughs> yes, you're gonna hate the way you look. <laughs> <laughs> I guarantee it. Yeah. <laughs> Hates the way he looks. All right, and uh, let's see. What is one thing you wish you could change about yourself? What uh, What would you like to change about overall the look? Just give me like a couple of things. Taller, hair. I mean, taller, taller hair. Oh, um, yeah. Weight, weight, big one. I would like to get back uh, under two hundred. Keep naming stuff. Yeah, I yeah, know yeah. too. Can <laughs> 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 um, get the ones he didn't think about. Yeah. <laughs> Your yeah. weird eyebrows. <laughs> Wait, are they weird? <laughs> Thighs. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sorry, I like him. You're my friend. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you want to be taller, more hair, and less weight? Yeah. Uh, let's see, anything else? You got a killer smile. You can leave oh, that. Oh, Jeff, that's you know, so sweet. You can, I'll let you leave that. Killer smile. And let's see. Give me one more. One more little thing you want to add, Tommy. Uh, you know, the downstairs could be a little... <laughs> oh, <laughs> bigger hog. Yeah, you know, we got the old the Irish curse, as they say. Yeah. Damn. Wait, what's the Irish curse? Perfect hog. <laughs> Perfect hog. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a curse. Yeah. It's a curse. People are like, we got to fuck these Irish guys. Their hogs are just too perfect. <laughs> and they, the, the, the best thing about the Irish, they never shut the fuck up. Their hogs are perfect, and they hit women. <laughs> oh, Tim. What? Because no. yeah. they like to drink a lot. That's Not me true. and Tommy, of course. No. Wait, you're both Irish, aren't you? Yeah. You're I'm both half Irish. Italian. Is that where, does that save your hog a little bit? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. And quite frankly, it does not. Yeah. I got a real British hog, I think. <laughs> yeah. It's very stately. And yeah, it's very, yeah, very uppity. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Loves mm. Indians. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, yeah. I do think they are the most beautiful women on the planet. Wow. Mm-hmm. That's a hot take, Jeff. You and every other fucking... Uh, Go ahead. I'm cool. trying to think of what unusable clip you will share. What clip that you will share from this conversation that I will be forced not to share because oh. he chose the worst moment. <laughs> <laughs> Every time something is said, I'm like, they'll probably share this fucking thing. Is it- I do happen to pick bad ones that people yeah. don't want to share. Well, when I did the Patreon, he shared the one minute where I talked about OnlyFans. I'm like, well, I can't share this. <laughs> Karen, the one that Jeff had for Karen Fee, and she go, texted me, she goes, what's with this clip? It fucking sucks. <laughs> and I go, I go, listen, Jeff just tells me what to make, and I make it. I don't <laughs> care. Uh, wait, what other people think Indian women are the most gorgeous? Everyone. It's like when people do polls, they're always like voted as the number one most beautiful women. Really? Yeah. I didn't. Where are you? I've never seen any of these polls. Well, they're on XTube, uh, <laughs> Pornhub. <laughs> No, they're. I mean, they're out there. They're out there. You can oh. see first. Okay. Yeah. So then, do you both agree with me? That I think they're beautiful. That any they're women most are beautiful? beautiful. I think every woman is Everyone beautiful in their taste. own way. Yeah. Mm. Give me a race. Get racial with me. <laughs> Which race is the most beautiful? Yeah. Give me. Give. I. Th- I don't really see race. I only see one race. Well, the human right. race. The Indy Five Hundred. Yes, the Indy Five Hundred. <laughs> and those dudes are hot. Mm, all right. You're really skirting around on me. It's Indian women. Okay. <laughs> Moving on. And now it's time for my what impression. What does your fiance feel like, Tim? What? Or Jeff, whatever your name is. What does she feel like? <laughs> what do you mean? When you say that the most beautiful women are a race that she is not. I don't know if she's ever heard me say that. <laughs> she doesn't listen to the podcast? No, she better not. <laughs> Jeff's already in the doghouse. Yeah, I'm already in the doghouse right now. All right, fine. It's Indian women and women who are uh, mixed racially. Mm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> And it's specifically 25% black. Yeah, specifically, yeah, and then a percentage Jewish and uh, I think Italians in there. Mm. All right, a all real right. Mi- mis- mi- mi- <laughs> a real cool mix. <laughs> I was trying to say mishmash, but I couldn't do it. What is wrong with you tonight? I'm used to know. being in a group chat with you guys, and I just want to throw gifs out. <laughs> I want to throw up. Moving on. Oh yeah. All right. Fine. Moving on. All right, Tommy. Uh, describe to me your perfect date. Oh, this is a great question. Now, I perfect date. Fucking love going to the movies on a date. So oh, me, you don't gotta talk to him. Perfect date is you All go. Right. You get a nice dinner. You I'm go her. see a film. What are we eating? So I got my wig on. <laughs> I love. I just like American. 
bar food. I like getting a nice burger. Oh, we're getting like a that. burger. Getting a nice burger, maybe a beer, and then a Diet Coke. Oh, oh. Go to the movies. Oh, Tommy, two drinks. <laughs> 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 and you go to a movie, get a big ass popcorn. Oh yeah! Can I get a candy? No. <laughs> <laughs> I only have enough for the big popcorn. I know. I do love putting peanut M and M's in a big popcorn at the movies. One oh, of, you mix? That's one of life's wow. uh, one of life's pleasures. You're a mix and mash guy. Wow. And that's how I impress them. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Check out this little trick. Yeah. <laughs> Bet you never met a guy who can do this before. <laughs> <laughs> see a film, and then you go out after and talk. Talk about the film. Oh, okay. Yeah. You go uh, to another bar? Very nice. Da- well, yeah. yeah, maybe sure you go to a bar. <laughs> they're, at the, they're at a bar afterwards. He's like, can you believe that that dog was playing basketball? <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was against the rules. So you go and you chat about the movie. Then you chat about the movie. I think that's a great date. Okay. And then what? Then what? You go and you just drop her off and give her a smooch? <laughs> yes. Jeff yeah. always gets a kiss. Yeah, I always mm. get a kiss. Always. I, I do a nice firm handshake. <laughs> mm-hmm. And that's say, the right thing to do. I say, good luck in the calendar year. <laughs> <laughs> Send them on their way. <laughs> Drops off with a handshake. <laughs> and Tommy's like, what a, he- what, a, what a hell of a date. Oh, goodness. That's a nice time. Yeah. And then maybe next time. Time you have a good sexual experience. <laughs> good and recent. <laughs> <laughs> what a nice day. Who picks the movie, you or her? Of course me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then I mansplain it. <laughs> yeah. The conversation afterwards is just Tommy mansplaining yeah. why it was better than she thought it was. <laughs> Here's why this is better than reality TV or whatever you like. <laughs> just a lot of Tommy going, no, no, this is where you're wrong. You yeah. see, yeah. you actually loved it. <laughs> Let me tell you about the characters. What Defoe was doing was not. He is the character. Okay, so that's usually that's your perfect date. I is think that, that's a nice date. Usually yeah. the date you go on is that usually your go to. I do like I do like a movie date. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. How what are, what are the percentage of success on the end of that date? Well, I'd say. Let's just say I wouldn't be getting into college with my GPA. <laughs> oh, all right. Well, let's see. We'll put him at a 2.9. <laughs> you can get into college with a 2.9. Can you get into a 2.9? Yeah, maybe where you went. 2.9. <laughs> That's 2. low, I feel. 3.0 is honor roll. No, yeah. Oh, is it? Yeah. Well, so then you're below B, honor roll. Right? What? Isn't 3 a B? 3 is a B. Yeah. You get into college with a B. I got into college at a 1.82. Oh, okay. So we'll put Tommy at 1.8. I heard you 1.8 too much. <laughs> oh, damn, Tommy. I can't believe a man who thinks about himself the way you do would say that to another man. Well, that's what I do. I lash out because of my huge insecurities <laughs> and terrible oh, no. self-worth. I'll just well, write that on the side. Projects. Now that I know that, yeah. it hurts even more. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. It's supposed to make you understand me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you look at Tommy or Tommy insults you. You poor thing. Yeah. That's what I want. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, what's this one? I don't know if I have. I don't even know if I do know this. I may not. May may actually found out. Why don't you like dogs, Tommy? So this is interesting. Oh, <laughs> not really. But, uh, if you're listening, turn it up. Now. Well, everyone assumes. Oh, I must have gotten bit horribly as a kid. That's what I thought. Not that's what I all. tell. That's what I tell people. Yeah, Tim told me that. I have been bit as an adult, but I was never oh. bit as a kid. And yeah. I was fine. I got bit like maybe two years ago. And this dog just bites me on the hand, not to break skin. <gasps> and I look at the dog's owner. I'm like, oh, my God. And she goes, sorry. Like, <laughs> I'm like bleeding. Like, <laughs> but I, they've always scared me, and they always made me nervous. They're yeah. just like jumpy, barky dogs. Um, I just They make me uncomfortable. They make me feel skittish. Oh, and then okay. I think me being afraid of them makes them not like me. So I think oh, it's cool. a vicious cycle. Oh, okay. And I think it's because we never had a dog. And my, I don't think my dad liked dogs. I think it was a little genetic. Your dad didn't like dogs? No. Was no, he bit no. as a child? I think he actually was. <gasps> and it was transferred and then onto he, you. I inherited that from him. Oh, yes. my God. Trauma transference. It's a, a generational Whoa. trauma. Yeah, generational oh. trauma on the McNamara family. I mean, as far as generational trauma, afraid of dogs is a good one <laughs> to get, I would say. <laughs> That is pretty solid. This is my terrible one man show. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Edinburgh. Yeah. yeah. The year is 1964. <laughs> my young father. Born in 1963. You were very, uh, really? almost, almost nailed that. Call it once bitten, twice scared. That's good. 
Okay, well, you got to break this generational trauma curse, Tommy. What? You know what? I, I do think I have gotten better as the years have gone on. It's really just like a chill dog I will vibe with and I will yeah, pet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But a jumpy, barky dog I still don't really want to mess with. What uh, about what about cats? Are you scared of cats? I'm not afraid of them. I don't, I don't like want one. Right. But I don't like get upset when someone has one, you know. Mm. Oh, okay. Well, what, what about sizes of dogs? Does it matter? Big, little? Like, if it's a big, old dog that okay. just, like, sits on the couch, that's totally fine. Likes big olds. I you like, wouldn't like... You I wouldn't, like, like, a dog that's close to death. You wouldn't like, oh, okay, like, you yeah. wouldn't like Jeff's dog. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff's both... Actually, you wouldn't yeah, like... you the, would hate both of them. <laughs> the little dog will bite you. <laughs> was, uh, and it will bite you on the feet, and it does fucking hurt. I was at a friend's house, and uh, they had this chihuahua that was, like, super jumpy, super barky. The, the things I don't like, and uh-huh. uh, my, I told my friend, I was like, oh, I just don't really like dogs. And he's like, well, what are you afraid of? And I go, I don't know that it'll bite me. And he goes, oh, oh, she'll bite you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Of and, then, and then Jeff's other dog has a huge bark and growls, but will not bite you. Yeah, she won't bite. She'll just get right in your face and bark at you. <laughs> and growl. Is there any chance she's projecting because of some self-loathing? <laughs> no, no. They're both doing great. She's sad at her fucking... Uh, I'm off. Yeah, you're way off. I'm off today. Did I tell you? I told you about those toddlers uh, attacking me and the two dogs in the... <laughs> In the racquetball court, didn't I? When did that happen? Oh, like three weeks ago. You got ago? attacked by toddlers? Well, not. I took. I had Lucy and Birdie. We're Jeff in, can't even protect himself against toddlers. Yeah, they were attacking. But I, I take them to the racquetball courts because they're fenced off, you know, so I could just unhook them and just throw a tennis ball around. Because mm-hmm. um, there's no dog parks in bed And I go in there, right? Mm-hmm. And then these two just loose toddlers. I don't know who they belong to. <laughs> just children out and about two in the streets. Two loose toddlers, probably like this tall, tiny mm-hmm, little mm-hmm, things, mm-hmm. just unlock the door and go, ah, and just run in. And I go, ah, and then Birdie does her scary bark thing. Yeah, yeah. Does it scare them? Oh, yeah. They go, ah, and they run and they turn around mm-hmm. and like they turn it into a game of have her bark and then they run away. Uh. And then Lucy's freaking out. And I was like, I just grabbed Lucy and I'm trying to pull Birdie. And they're like both like trying to smack them on the face. Lucy's trying to bite. I think she bit the kid once. And then Birdie, I was like, I don't think she would, but even she was like getting like con- like concerned looking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's and I had to like drag them away. It was terrifying. <laughs> I was like, who do you we have to go? Who do you belong to? Two loose toddlers, Tommy. That's wild. That's what I'm afraid of. Mm. These toddlers, not dogs. Mm. You can have the toddlers. Were you bit by a toddler as a child? Yeah, as a yeah, young yeah. child. <laughs> <laughs> no, my dad was bit as a toddler. <laughs> <laughs> Do you see what I did there? I didn't even listen to your story, and I still had a killer riff for it. Uh, yeah, you really. Yeah, <laughs> I, I totally you. saw you check your I checked phone. my phone. I zoned out. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> What were you checking your phone? What was on that phone? I wanted to see what was going on in the big football game. Oh, my <laughs> Lord. He's a sports <laughs> addict. He's a sporto. I uh, love sports. Jalen Hurts scored a touchdown. That's good. I'm rooting he for He ran it. it in. He sure did. Good. I want the Seahawks to lose. Mm. Um, Lions right. clinch if the Seahawks lose, yeah, right? Yeah, we mm-hmm. clinch if they lose. Uh, Tommy. Another reason they're better than the Bears. This mm-hmm. year. We get to clinch. Tommy's not clinched at all. Real loose. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I even thought that, and I didn't do it. And I'm off. Yeah, you can't be doing nothing. Tommy, what's the last time you were on top of the world? Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Um, when was the last time T-Man was on T-World? I would say top January. Of, I know what it is. January. When I taped my uh, I taped my old comedy special, I thought the show went great. Oh, I was okay. Very high on adrenaline. I felt very happy. A lot of people came out. Oh, January. Yeah, January. That was at the gutter. At the Bell House. Oh, was at and the I Bell House. I can see that you watched it and loved it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, even a clip would tell you that it wasn't at the gutter. But <laughs> I shared. I shared clips. <laughs> you did share. He did it with his eyes closed, but he shared it. Yeah. So January was the last time you're on and top the of the world. Last time I was on the bottom of the world when I saw the view count. Oh Woo. no. What was what was the view count? That's not good. Yeah. I mean, it's an ongoing thing, but it's, what did we it's, want? Not, it's not doing well. No? no. What was it at? It's at like 5,000. 5,000? What were you hoping for? More than that, I'll tell you that much. 10? <laughs> well, I was hoping to get to 10 kind of quick. And yeah? We're, we're a month in. And, um, yeah, not good. And reach out to our friend Django. He's probably got some connects for you. 
I guess. Yeah, <laughs> yeah his like, fucking bum ass got in the fucking Wall Street Journal or some shit. Yeah, yeah. Tell ask Django yeah. what he's doing. Yes. Yeah. You got a bad photo? <laughs> yeah, put that in there. Pop it in the New York Times. He got into Moon Tower. Tim was jealous. I just I didn't understand how. Moments, what? Oh, you know what was another good moment? Hmm. There was one softball inning I pitched this summer. Oh, where I got all three outs by myself, and I remember screaming, "I'm him!" Oh. <laughs> and I fell on top of the world. <laughs> oh, okay. But then my next at bat, I struck out, and everyone started making fun of me. Oh, and what a bunch going, of jerks. Oh, he's him! He's him! Oh no! <laughs> they wouldn't even let you have it for too long. Well, that's what you get when you boast. Yeah, <laughs> you can't boast. <laughs> you can't boast. But you had it for a brief time in I the did. summer. Yeah. All right, good. I love playing sports. That and I want to make one thing clear. What? I'm not jealous of Jay. Django at all. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it just everyone who got Moon Tower had like a hundred thousand followers or more, so that's why I was wondering why Django was on the thing. Oh, sure, mm-hmm. sure, sure. Absolutely. All right, Tim's not. I don't even want to do it. It looks like a fucking <laughs> bum ass lineup. I know with a you bunch don't want to do it. Of course, of course. Oh, right. oh, I want to go to a, a festival with all of my friends. Oh. No. <laughs> Wait, no, all of your friends aren't there. <laughs> a good amount of them are there. <laughs> So Tommy's on top of the world looks like once every three months. That sounds about you're right. You're due. I think you're due <laughs> then. Damn. That Damn. sounds nice. I you're due. So. Four times a year? That's pretty good. Yeah. Quar- my quarterly joke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, three or four times a year. So every due. morning I wake up on top of the world and I think today's going to be the greatest day of my life. <laughs> and then I walk outside and I'm like, ugh. Damn it. Oh, well, every no. morning there's a hangnail hanging from the corner of my girlfriend's four post bed. Oh, really? Yeah. That's interesting. Who is that? That's a Sugar Ray. Sugar show. Ray. There it is. That's going to be. That's... I used to host a podcast called Stand By Your Bed. Hey, no plugs. Okay. <laughs> About what you used to do. Yeah, yeah, no old plugs. But since we're here, I'll skip to this question. Well, Tom and I had a big falling out. Oh, no. <laughs> we'll get to that later. Um, what's the best song to dance to? Oh, I have an answer for this. Ooh, I had a feeling you would. I my favorite song to hear in a mm-hmm. wedding, anything, is Best of My Love by The Emotions. I think it's the best party song of all time. When that comes on, I get moving, I get excited. Oh, yeah? Wait, what's the best of my love? How's that go? Oh, oh, you got the best of my love. You know that one, right? Oh, I didn't say stop. It's the opening <laughs> s- opening song in Boogie Nights, my favorite movie. Oh. It's, uh, I love that Fa- song. My favorite my ending heart. to a movie. <laughs> you just like seeing the hog? Yeah, yeah. the hog. <laughs> Best of my love gets you cut in a rug. That gets me cut in a rug. Oh, I love that for you. And I want to see it happen more often. I used to think R. Kelly's remix to Ignition before. Oh, yeah? Least, you can keep yeah. that, I say. <laughs> Still yeah. a fun song to hear. Yeah, yeah. I you, say keep it. I say keep it, too. you got to separate the art from the artist sometimes. Yeah. And I do it all the time. <laughs> <laughs> more often than not. Yeah. yeah, master of it, if you yeah. will. <laughs> Jeff, what's your favorite song to dance to? I don't dance. My favorite song to dance to? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let me think. Uh, I don't know. I don't really have one. Does the KKK have an anthem? Or oh, my <laughs> God. Yeah. Um, let's go with, this just popped into the brain, but we'll go with Push It by Salt and Pepper. Fun song. Oh, yeah. Push It. No. Push It real good. No. You all sexy with it? No. <laughs> Jeff, <laughs> next question. All right, Tommy. Who was your favorite teacher and why? Oh, oh yeah. my God. Who um, helped shape Mr. Young Mac? So there was my history teacher in high school, Doc Aiello. I'm going to name two. I'm going to name one from high school, one from college. Doc Aiello was a history teacher. Doc Aiello? Doc Aiello was oh, his name. Wow. Very funny guy. He would show us like Woody Allen movies when he didn't want to teach. So that oh. was like, kind of an early way of seeing those movies. And he used to always say kind of street jokes, but he'd always make me laugh. Like, oh, yeah. We had okay. a hockey player in the team, and he'd be like, Oh, I heard there was a fight last night and a hockey game broke out. Oh. Yeah, you know, I never heard jokes like that from an old man. It made me, uh, it was very endearing. Oh, you were dying. And you never uh, heard those jokes? Not until that. I mean, when I was young. I was, yeah, you know, Jeff, what did you grow up hearing <laughs> hockey jokes? <laughs> yeah. I mean, that was high school. I feel like I heard uh, those. Uh, I guess my dad would do a lot of dad jokes. Well, there you go. And then college, my uh, film teacher. Uh, big influence on me. Very smart man. Uh, who uh, he said the great. Here's the best date. He's a, a movie. <laughs> a movie. Yeah. Now let's and watch Boogie like, Nights again. Yeah. <laughs> hogs away. Hogs away. Tommy, quit getting so close to the screen. 
But I think he taught me how to think analytically about cinema. Oh. In a way that I still try to today. Oh, okay. He he made you into a cinephile. Yes. Mm. Among other things. (laughs) (laughs) Clans to Tim. (laughs) (laughs) Jeff Uh, is just a pedophile. (laughs) Oh, yeah. Yeah, he was our uh, uh, pedo teacher. Mm -hmm. (laughs) And now Jeff is off. You guys are both (laughs) brutal tonight. (laughs) This is why we didn't tell you. you Normally we tell the guests it can't be funny, but I think we both knew that we were off. Yeah, yeah. So you're allowed to be funny tonight, Tommy. Yeah, Tommy. (laughs) Uh, Don't sit like that. What? Oh, my God, dude. You should have seen it this weekend. We went to a bar in Tampa, and you could still smoke in the bars. Oh, wow. And Jeff asked this woman, he goes, can I have a cigarette? And she goes, okay. And she gave him a cigarette, and he's smoking it like this. Oh, yeah. So like he holds it like and she Corolla goes. Corolla DeVille. Like, <laughs> yeah. But he's holding it like this, and he's smoking it like a little tiny penis. And, he, and the lady goes, oh, my God, what are you doing? And he goes, what? She goes, you're a man. You are a man. Smoke the cigarette like a man. He goes, what? And then he just continued to do it. I was being extra catty. Very fun. It was fun. I kept going. We were talking to some guys that were uh, from Orlando. They came over from Orlando, and I kept going, do you go to Disney? (laughs) How often do you go to Disney? They were getting so annoyed. (laughs) Those two dudes did say that Jeff and I were like the coolest guys they'd ever hung out with. Yeah. That is sad. Oh, my God. (laughs) (laughs) Well, they're always at Disney all the time. I mean, they either hang out with us or freaking Mickey Mouse. Yeah. (laughs) We're like, welcome to the real Animal Kingdom. Yeah. Lord. (laughs) Tim Schultz. Show him your Epcot Center. Mm-hmm. It's between his butt cheeks. No, it isn't. <laughs> it's the size of a golf ball. <laughs> and it's, it's not white. <laughs> it is red. <laughs> All right, Tommy. Moving All right. On. <laughs> yeah. I go, who's looking to drink around the world? Yeah. And- Jesus Christ. <laughs> I piss a bunch of cups. What? And then I drink them. I go, I guess it was me. Oh, my God. He's back on. 100%. Yeah. And then the last cup I take a shit in. Oh, I my Lord. It. He couldn't be moron. It's, it's he is moron. <laughs> <laughs> I do it just to make Tommy upset. With the zinger. Uh, in times uh, of crisis, mm. are you more of a leader or a follower? When you find yourself oh, in time. Oh, a follower? Oh, you know, right. Tommy never takes Well, charge. I would say I'm a lever. I'm a <laughs> <laughs> more than a leader. I will try and exit the situation by myself as quickly as possible. <laughs> in times of crisis, I kind of just Irish goodbye. I will look at my phone and panic and leave. <laughs> <laughs> So we know. want you around when something bad's going no, down. No, no. <laughs> so you want yeah, someone to tell your tale. <laughs> <laughs> A real flight guy. Yeah. Okay. Um, so what happened after the shit started going down? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> it seems like it was going to be crazy. So, yeah. so I'm ducking down. The shooter's actively <laughs> hunting people. Tommy's pushing women out of the way. I'm at a bar down the street. <laughs> See if anyone wants to go to the movies. <laughs> <laughs> Tommy just said, I can't, and ran. There was, a, there was a big fight once outside of the Laugh Factory. It was outside of that bar next to the Laugh Factory. What's that? Oh, Irish, I remember that. Yeah, 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 the Irish place next to the Laugh Factory. Brendan's or something? No. Yeah, Brendan's. And, uh, I stand by what I did. And Jeff watched all of his friends get, in, get beat up by one guy, <laughs> and he drank a beer, and he watched everybody get beat up. And I asked him later, I was like, Jeff, why didn't you help? He goes, I like watching the men fight. (laughs) (laughs) Smoke your cigarette. (laughs) Well, I defend what I did, all right? I mean, he wasn't going to help. The guy was beating up people way bigger than Jim. I mean, the guy was hammered just full of strength. I think Coke strength, right? And then they go to throw him out, and it looked like he's on his way out. And then Marty, friend of the pod, uh, shoves the guy out the door, and then they just start tussling in the middle of the street. 
And then Adam uh, Burke runs out. Oh, the Harry guy could, runs out. The guy couldn't get enough of punching Adam Burke in the face. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, for some reason, Burke kept getting hit a lot. Yeah. Everyone's running out, and this guy's taking on like four dudes. And I'm just sitting at the bar where the window is open next to Jenna Gephardt being like, look at this. These boys are nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Marty had the guy in a headlock, he said, and the guy lifted him up over his head. And Marty goes, I put him in a headlock. Turns out the guy was tremendously strong. Oh, yeah. He was <laughs> fucking all you guys up. I was like, I'm not getting in there. I, did, I wasn't there. I saw the video and asked you why you didn't help. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was on his way out, you know? Then you all started it. I'm not jumping in. And then Curtis came in and beat him up. <laughs> Curtis came in very funny. Curtis came in from another bar smoking a cig, just grabbed him and just started wailing on him like a hockey player. <laughs> cig in mouth. Yeah. That's very cool. It's very cool pop. As hell. That's the coolest way you The could video be. was awesome. Yeah, it was sick, but I've never been into a fight and will not break that streak. Um, all right, Tommy. <laughs> Good. What sport do you wish you were better at? You know what? One I, sport. I play sports all the time. I know you That's love my, sports. my biggest hobby. Mm-hmm. They I call him say, Tommy Sport Magnum. Tommy mm-hmm. Sport Magnum. I wish that I was better at golf. Because golf? Because I play all wow. the other sports so often already, but golf is one that as I get older, I know that I'm going to be, people want to play more. Yeah. And I'm just very bad at it. And uh, I would like to be better at it. Yeah, oh. golf is one you can play until you die. That's the thing. And yeah. I, yeah. So you want to become a good golfer. I'm already incredible at tennis, basketball, and softball. Sure. My three main sports. Right. You've maxed out on <laughs> all maxed of those out things. On yeah. my potential, yeah. Sure. Okay. So you want to be a... What type of golfer? Are we talking long drives or are you a short game master? Well, <laughs> I'm neither right now. I would like... <laughs> But I would like to be, yeah, just uh, good all around. You know, I'd like to be a good putter. I'm very bad at putting. Yeah? And I get so frustrated. Okay. I get in my head and I get mad. So you want to be a short game guy. Yeah. All right. Tim, what kind of golfer do you want to be? I'd like to be all around good at every uh, thing. Just medium on all? You don't want to be? Yeah, if I could just keep it on the fairway and get it on the green and hit it in in like three putts. Yeah? I think that would be pretty good. I, would I can already fucking rip it off the tee. But oh, I, you're already a good driver. Well, I can drive it really far, but it is not straight, and it goes all over the place, but it goes really far. Uh, but uh, I, I got no time to practice. I don't have any We'll take club. it. We'll take it. I would like to do it every day if I can get financially uh, well off. <laughs> Step one is learning what some a, terms. What yeah. a pause! I'm calling. I'm calling this. I'm calling this episode. Tim is off. What a pause <laughs> with Tommy Magnum. I he I, shut down. I have to be off eventually. I've been on for almost a hundred episodes. Wow. Yeah. All right. You sure have. <laughs> <laughs> and for me personally, I'd love to be a wedge man. Oh, mm-hmm. if I could just be wedging all the time. Well, you nice. started as a wedgy man. Those. People beating you up, giving you a wedgie all the time because <laughs> you're a fucking nerd. <laughs> okay, Tommy, let's see here. Uh, <laughs> um, what about this one? Let's see if you want to answer. What relationship ending hurt the most? <laughs> <laughs> I think I'll take the points on this one. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> Damn. oh, no. <laughs> Oh, star refusal to answer. <laughs> okay, write that in. Well, I guess we'll have to take some guesses, Tim. <laughs> we'll have to take some cracks at that one on the Patreon. Yeah, we'll have to go over it. I mm. think I know. Oh, yeah? No. <laughs> <laughs> Um, all right. Tommy plays his cards close to the vest. He yes. really does. I like to be like a Scientologist celebrity. Yeah. <laughs> Where everyone thinks I'm secretly gay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we sure do. We sure do. Um, all right. I'll also write down stand by your band ending, maybe. Oh, yeah. That yeah. could be it. No, there's nothing juicy about that. Yeah, I bet it was real juicy. <laughs> Uh, let's see here. Scale of... Don't say scale. <laughs> scale of 1 to 10. Oh, I see. Careful. Okay. <laughs> scale of 1 to 10. How bad is your social anxiety? Uh, pretty bad, I would say. Oh, okay. Yeah, 1 to 10. Give me a number. Well, I don't know. You know, I'm very... I think I'm very gregarious. Oh, yeah. Glenn Ross. But I think... <laughs> <laughs> Is that funny? <laughs> I thought it was funny. That was the first time Jeff's brought me to the top of the world. Um, no, I don't know. You know, I, I 
think it takes a lot out of me, but I try to be a you know life of the party fun okay. guy. But oh, I think yeah. it, uh, oh t- we see you try. Yeah. <laughs> know, yeah. On a scale of one to Miller sixty four. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, scale of one to ten, though, how bad is it? Um, Give me a number. I need a number. Five. Five. Because I'm not like shy. I'm just you know. Oh, you oh, you're not shy. <laughs> oh, not shy, but does have it. All right. You hate to hear it. <laughs> you hate to hear it. Yeah, sad, really. Yeah, yeah, really. Yeah. Every time you're out, it's a coin flip, huh? <laughs> Tommy, oh, used, no. Tommy used to be my hero. Yeah. Oh, until, I, until I heard his social anxiety was a five out of yeah. ten. <laughs> Every single time. What Tommy are you getting? That's you know? a good question. I mean, that is a good question. Every party, you know, it's a 50% chance. <laughs> Of what? <laughs> Wait, that he's gonna be fun or not? Yeah, 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 yeah. Sad. Um, <laughs> all right. Who's your number one best friend, and what do you wish you could tell them? <laughs> <laughs> what a stupid question. <laughs> I like this one. Though. Well, this is a t- I feel like I have so many close friends. Oh, I'm sure. I, bet, I, d- I figured you would. I have a very hard time. P- Narrowing it down to you one. You gotta though. <laughs> your well, number one best your friend. Your number one best friend. I guess I'll do, I'll do uh, Jeff's rules at his wedding and do no comedians. So oh. I'll take the comedians out. Okay, sure. And I'd say my friend. Oh, this is so tough. Oh, I know. Yeah. Oh, it's <laughs> well, it's a real friend, TQ. My friend Tim's on the mind. He just moved to Jersey City, so we're gonna get to hang out more. I live in oh. Bushwick. <laughs> <laughs> uh tim in jersey city i'd say from from childhood tim tim would be that and uh he's a, he's a great man i would like to tell him what would i like to tell yeah him? that he uh-huh. i'm proud of him because he got sober a long time ago and uh he's very good at it he's very good at uh, still being fun still being around he never oh. talks about it and uh, Oh, he's he sober. Had some hard he's... stuff happen in his life, but he always keeps a positive attitude. He's a smart guy. Oh, okay. So you love a sober guy that's positive? Yeah. That's great. <laughs> Look what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> you're a pariah. <laughs> you're like not a you're you're a sober guy that smiles a lot, but it's an evil smile. No, no. It's not a smile of positivity. It's full of love. All right, you're positive. What, he's a childhood best friend? Yes. What age? Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, we went to like kindergarten through eighth grade. Oh, my and goodness. High school, so. Oh, I thought this guy was like eight years old. No, I mean, yeah. Because you, you were best friends with yeah. a child. Anyways. <laughs> it's calling him a pedophile. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's your riff? No. <laughs> uh, listen, man, I'm tr- I'm still trying. Yeah. We all know I'm off, but I'm still swinging. That is good. So you know what I'm saying? I do think there are like 20 guys I w- could say are my best friend and not feel like I'm lying too much. Okay. But gun to your head, Tim's getting the job. I guess if there was a paid position. <laughs> uh, it's a paid position. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He needs to get the job. Yeah. Tim wins. Oh, all right. We'll share this. Maybe we'll make this the clip so Tim watches it. Yeah. And the other 19 guys are fucking pissed. Yeah, they're like, what the hell, Tommy? Yeah. I loved you. Tommy you were my hero. <laughs> Tommy gets messages from 40 guys, but only 20 of them he thinks are his actual best friends. I've been sober for years. What the hell? hell um is he people only messaging uh, from growing up oh okay all right i have sober friends in comedy of course oh of uh, course you're sitting next to your number one right over here <laughs> yes that's people true. messaging tommy i'll get sober for you <laughs> <laughs> if that, i didn't know that's what you wanted i'll still be i'll move to jersey city <laughs> yeah. how do i be close so are we gonna meet tim uh, if you come to my so show tomorrow, you'll he'll ah. still be there. Damn, oh. I'm not going to be able to make it. Mm. Oh, okay. Any other time, so he'll be around. I'll be around. Yeah. All right, good. We'll meet you, Tim. You hear that, Tim? What's his last name so we can be on the podcast? <laughs> McLaughlin. <laughs> Compernol. All right, Tim. Uh, let's see. Uh, what about what about this one? As you hydrate and get ready. Tommy, two drinks at it oh, again. Tommy, two drinks at it again. Why is Christmas so important to you? Oh, I think it symbolizes childhood joy. Oh, it's always a big, uh, it's always a big to do in my family. It was yeah, like, you know, just a big, big party, and I think my mom did a great job of making sure we all 
we're happy and got what we wanted every year, and yeah. uh, then you, you get to see, see, like all, you get to see get all your that, cousins, yeah. and you know. Oh, okay. I think of it; it just represents happiness to me. <laughs> Mrs. Childhood. Okay. Yes. <laughs> and that's my stage name. Mrs. Childhood. <laughs> my drag name. <laughs> that's a, welcome, Mrs. Childhood. That's a great drag. You dra- dress up like a little kid. Yeah, that would be a good drag. <laughs> wow. Oh, my God. You should try that. You need to get on RuPaul's Drag Race. Yeah, that'd be so cool. Tommy, you've been wasting all this time doing comedy. Well, be a drag funny. queen. Drag queens are funny. We already think you're gay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Drag it up. I think there are straight drag queens now. Are there? I think there's a couple. Well, I don't think they've been on RuPaul's Drag Race, probably because they suck. But oh, mm. Tommy, I think if you were a straight drag queen, I would always bring you up You already friends. can. Tommy, you can already. Now you hide me. Hey, yeah, I, hide you. I go, no, no, don't look at that guy. Tommy, you can art. You sing. You play instruments. It's true. All you need is someone to make you some costumes. I'll make them. Jeff will do it. He's I'll make a- your costumes. <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> do, you, do you like sew? <laughs> I'll learn to sew. All right. This is what I'm thinking. You don't all even right. learn how to make clips. <laughs> you learn how to sew. <laughs> this is what I'm thinking, all right? We keep the beard. Beard stays. <laughs> Thank you. All okay. right, all right. And whoever you're dating can stay oh, as well. Oh, stop it. Yes, yes. No wig either. No wig. <laughs> I want the bald to stay as well. Yes. Heavy eye makeup, all right? Oh, my God. As heavy tons of heavy. Is. So bald beard, tons of eye makeup. Pop the lips and give you something <laughs> fluttery. I want big Pop sleeves. Pop the lips. <laughs> Pop the lips. I think you'd kill it. Oh, my Lord. Pop the lips, show off the hips, and let's get to work. (laughs) And let's fucking work. Oh, no, we took that as far as we could. No, no. (laughs) I wanted to go further. Oh, gosh. Maybe we'd finally date. Okay. <laughs> Damn, you nasty. Joe. Mom, mom, dad, this is Mrs. Childhood. <laughs> you don't say my real name. <laughs> no. I do not date Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, what about uh, who is someone you know that you look up to? Oh, okay, yeah. That's a good, good and why. question. I have to vamp and think about it. Yeah, all right, Tim, vamp for him. Tell us a little story. <laughs> all right, you guys need a story? So we were in Tampa this weekend, and there's a bunch of roosters and chickens around. Oh, yeah. And then I was like, I asked the audience, I was like, why are there roosters and chickens around? And this woman said it's because there was cockfighting, and they outlawed the cockfighting, so all the cockfighters got rid of their roosters, and now they're on the street, and they're protected. And then after the show, this woman was like, that's not why that she lied to you. And I was like, oh, okay." The real reason was because we were in Ybor City and the guy Ybor, he had a cigar manufacturing and he brought in a bunch of people from Cuba and Southern Florida (laughs) who had chickens and roosters and stuff. So then the chickens and roosters now just live in the city. So the same chickens and roosters in Key West are the same ones that are in Ybor City in Tampa. Oh, wow. All right, Tommy. Everyone just hitting skip. (laughs) Skip, 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 skip. I mean, it wasn't a funny story, but it was a story. You did hit me with a story. I asked and you delivered. Okay. If you're going to pimp me out, I got I came up with something. That's true. That's I will, true. I'll give a sincere answer. Especially okay. Is that what right. I should do? Yeah, should absolutely. I, I want to hear who is somebody you know that you look up well, to. No, this is a sincere, based off a recent very tragic event. Okay. But a friend of ours passed away. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And uh, our friends, Lane and Julia, uh, very close friends, just kind of were at the hospital. Lane was staying the night, sleeping in a chair for like two nights in a row, and then they were both kind of coordinating all the people being there, and it showed real strength and friendship that uh, you know made me very proud to know them. And oh, I, you're going okay. Very inspiring, I would say. Lane and Julia, you pick one. Give me one of them. All right, great at the hospital. See, that was nice. We did a serious thing, but we got a good laugh. Yeah, out of yeah, beautiful. we did. Yeah. They were strong at the hospital. Okay, at our friend Kenny DeForest. Check out his clips. It is special on YouTube. Yes. Don't you don't do it. Uh, what? It Why doesn't not? sound sincere. It doesn't sound sincere. I meant that. 
yeah. I can't help the tone of my voice. But also, yeah, Kenny himself being an organ donor and they saved lives with his organs. Yeah. That's uh, something else. Very yeah. Admirable mm -hmm. and cool. And Mike has got... I think I am. I have to check my... I'm an resources. organ donor and Mike is mad at me about it because she's like... Uh, what? She thinks she has some conspiracy theory in her head that if you're an organ donor, they take you off of life support so they can just give your organs to someone. Oh, and I was Lord. like, I don't. Oh, I am an organ donor. Oh, you are? Is that your is that your photo of ID picture? Yeah, you see all that wow, hair? Wow, <laughs> look at that, man. Don't show your ID to the kids. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> your, one, your one viewer is going to get me. <laughs> now I got to do some actual work. Yeah, blur that <laughs> out, Tim. <laughs> Stop it flashing his ID. Look is that your Don. social security number, too? <laughs> you guys want to see him, Chase Debit? <laughs> Uh, I just I'm afraid that none of my don't organs use that clip by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid none of my organs are worth donating. No, I bet you got a couple of good organs in there. Yeah, maybe. They could turn your hog into a lung. Huh? <laughs> You know how they turn okay. things into other things? No, that no, Jeff, they don't do that. They do that all the time in medicine. In what the what like, medicine like, do you know? They turn other parts into other parts. You know what I'm talking about? I'm no. not crazy. Are you talking about when people get, uh, they reassign their gender? No. And they turn their penis into a vagina? They can turn like different parts into different organs, kind of. Like if No, they, they can't. I'm quite sure they can. Jamie, look that up. <laughs> Tommy, have you ever heard of what... <laughs> I think Jamie's Joe Rogan's producer that looks things <laughs> oh, up. Tommy, have you ever heard of them turning organs into other organs? Not organs. Into, I mean, I know what you're saying about repurposing stuff. They can, re, they can like put like your well, they'll toe take, on like, your thumb. Yeah, they'll take... Yeah, they do they that. They can throw a nose oh. on your forehead. They'll take like... That's not what you were... And put it... Yeah. 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 But yeah. that's yeah. not what you were saying. No, I said they could turn your penis into a lung. Yeah, that's Which they, definitely bet. not true. No, I'm sure they could have. They plugged the bottom, hollowed it out. I don't want to go <laughs> if they use if they repulsive. use my, if they use my penis you wouldn't even get you could not breathe deeply i'll yeah, tell yeah. you that no stairs for you people people be breathing like this i hate this <laughs> i got this tiny dick lung yeah they'd be like <laughs> <laughs> so uh, i'm so sorry i have a little penis <laughs> lung he did it. He did the whole thing. Keep going. I wasn't going to stop him. I wasn't going to stop really him. really love you, but my penis is my lung. <laughs> they can't have sex now. That's good. That's good, Tim. I like that. So, yeah, you like that? Lane and Julia were strong in the hospital. That was nice. Yes. I saw you I there. I walked that, uh, into the room. Did admirable, you, yes. Did you hate seeing me walk into the room? No, I, you don't. I felt an energy do. shift, and I felt <laughs> terrible. I was like, I felt so guilty. You should not have felt guilty. No. Okay. It was nice. Uh, it was nice to have you there. Was, oh, all right. I thought you, you brought, I think we're a funny pairing. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's uh, 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 Can you imagine if he looked down and saw me and you together? <laughs> yeah. He also. He also feels bad because everyone at uh, Kenny's thing at the gutter was like, not you, to Jeff when he walked up. <laughs> well, no, that was fun. People were getting out their catharsis. You know, oh, yeah. Shox, Shox was like, oh, you. But honestly, it makes me feel better hating you. Yeah, like, well, good. there you go. Take it out on me. And then Shane almost ripped my hoodie. And I think he's a mild bully. And that's my new stance. Shane Torres, friend of the show. Yeah, he'll never do it because I think he'll hit me. Sorry about your hoodie, Jim. Yeah, I'll never get an apology. I on meant him. to do it. Um, all right, let's see here. So much behind the curtain sp uh, speech right there. Talk and speak. What? What the fuck sentence was that? I don't know. I just was bouncing around. Ask a question, Tommy. <laughs> What piece of advice do you want to give young Tommy? Oh. <laughs> you have a young Thomas McNamara yeah. standing before you. Yeah, young Tommy. Who are you? <laughs> I would say... Um, Is this what I become? <laughs> I would say focus on making money <laughs> so that you have money so you're not 33 and <laughs> paycheck to paycheck. Oh, okay. Focus on money. Well, I just wish when I was starting comedy, I kept good jobs instead of like thinking I needed the flexibility to like have bad uh, jobs. You know what I mean? Oh, I see. Where it's like I, I want to always be open where I could like travel at any moment. And it's like just like make the money, have some savings so that mm -hmm. when you're actually ready to do more stand up, it's not like difficult. You know? Oh, I see. I would say I, financially I made 
every bad decision you can make and continue making many of them. Okay, but, uh, brother, so that would be the I know house. that's right. <laughs> <laughs> terrible with money. Yep, terrible with money. <laughs> can you, you're a young boy in your future self. <laughs> Focus on money. Like, can I borrow money? <laughs> my one talk with my younger self. <laughs> Listen, I know you're going to the store. I know mom gave you some cash. Who are Give you? it to me. I'm you from the future. Focus <laughs> on money. <laughs> Venmo's not around yet. I'm going to need you to get some cash out of the ATM and give it to me. <laughs> also, in our sister's room, <laughs> I need her diary. <laughs> The young child. Oh, no. Start doing drag now. <laughs> yes. You'll be incredible at it by the time <laughs> you're my age. <laughs> you're Mrs. Childhood. <laughs> no wig. Lots of eye makeup. Yeah. Lips. Pop. <laughs> Pop. Learn to twerk. <laughs> yeah. uh, Should have majored in twerking. Yeah. 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 All right. Well. I hope uh, hope that happens. All right. And finally, last question, Tommy. Made it to the end. Uh, All right. What comics got you into comedy? Who were your guys? Okay. Very good question. (laughs) (laughs) Um, Well, it's no secret that uh, Patton Oswalt married into my family when I was a young man. Mm -hmm. And I would say that because of that, I saw his comedy at an early age, but I also saw alternative comedy at an age when I wouldn't have otherwise, when I was like 12, 13. So, you know, saw people like Zach Galifianakis, Mia... Uh, Mia, <laughs> Mia Khalifa. Uh, uh, <laughs> she's funny. You know, yeah, Bay, she's like, funny. Dude. Watching a comedian's dude. comedy, seeing Zach Galifianakis, watching his uh, special on Netflix, the first mm-hmm. Netflix special ever live at the Purple Onion, that was huge for me. And also seeing Patton uh, when I first saw Mulaney open for him. Oh, so I saw I saw young Mulaney pre any of his specials doing like the top part material, and that like blew me away. Oh, um, okay. So I would say that was huge for me getting into it and then getting older and just I was always obsessed with uh, with comedy movies and TV shows and I'd say mm. m- seeing MacGruber in college. Oh, MacGruber was great. It was it was formative for me, like just how hard that movie made me laugh. Really, MacGruber was your big one. It was uh, that and What Hot American Summer were the two movies that like. Oh, What Hot so funny made me oh, as an adult funny. like want to be in the world of comedy. Oh, okay. I told everyone to go see MacGruber. I saw it in theaters. I told everybody to go see it, and they were all like, "Well, you're a fucking idiot, so we're not going to watch it." Damn. Then a year later, all my friends were like, "This MacGruber movie is hilarious." I'm like, "I fucking know, you assholes." It's the same thing that's happening right now with the Godzilla movie. I want to go see it. All you guys fucking dogging my ass for saying Godzilla's it's the in- funniest movie in the world. Look at this, Godzilla. <laughs> Godzilla does 10 of the best minutes you've ever seen. Uh, it's all crowd work. It's like, how is this? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You're like, how is this relatable? This man's a freaking dinosaur that shoots fucking nuclear beams. <laughs> And I'm a damn man. <laughs> okay, that was good, Tim. All right. Thank you, Jeff. Zach Alphanakis. I think I did pretty good. Patton Oswalt, Mulaney, great choices. Are you trying to sway your... <laughs> yeah. I th- Jeff, you know what? I think I did pretty good, so t- tally that yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see. Focus on money, young Tommy. Focus on money. That's genuinely very true. Uh, so oh, I, did not, sure. I did not have that prepared, but I feel good about that. Oh, I answer. bet. I bet. Tim, you're the number one best friend, not you, Tim. <laughs> Let's see. If you see Tommy at a party, 50-50 if you want to talk to him. <laughs> uh, let's see. Don't want to see you in a crisis. Uh, let's true. see. Uh, the perfect date's a movie and a handshake. I love that. <laughs> uh, all right. And you drink a, a, over, over a thousand beers a year. <laughs> All right, Tommy, I'm going to give you a solid 7 out of 10. Hey, a good man. 7. For skipping a fucking Yeah, he even answer. skipped out on the, the relationship hurt the most. Me and Tim can only guess. But you got a 7. I'll take it. All right. So Lucky that means you can, number 11. Yep. Yeah, do your plugs. Great movie. My plugs, please, for the love of God, watch my special on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> it is such a pathetic number. What's it called, Tommy? What's yeah, it called? What's, the, what's it called? Smoldering. I'm extremely proud of it. Of everything it's but, very good. Everything but the reception I'm proud of. Smoldering. That was at the Bell House? It certainly. Is that was. with the backup singers? Yes, it is. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, why did I think that was the, the big, gutter? Big production. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 
Very fun. Worked I love very it. hard on it. Thought it would be a hit. Yeah. It still I'm can drowning. be. It still can be. <laughs> Mr. Good. Salty, toss a link in our subreddit. Uh, uh, anything else, Carly? Yeah. Uh, when does this come out? Friday. Friday. Uh, come see me with Tom Takar in Vermont, New Year's Eve, if you live there. Hey, there, there oh. you go. The New Year's boys in, uh... And you can ask us about our acrimonious podcast breakup. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The end of that relationship. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> and we all know what the acrimonious The hardest relationship. Means. Answered mm. it. <laughs> Poor Tom. Damn. All right, Tim. Of course, follow me at hot underscore comic 69. We have the next live advice show coming up January 14th at the gutter at 8 p.m. We have Allison Leiby from HBO Comedy Central. We have Usama Siddiqui from television as well. They're both going to be on the show with Micah Fox, of course, and listen to the Great Hang podcast and check out the Patreon at patreon.com slash tough questions, where now you can ask Jeff a question. If you'd like to ask Jeff a question, sign up for the Patreon at patreon.com slash tough questions, Jeff. All right. I'm always at New York, Jeffrey. Goodbye. Bye.